Hey guys, right here I have a 2015 BMW 120i M Sport And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it Show you the features inside and out So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car if you leave the light switch on automatic. And as you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out upon locking the car and pressing and hold on the lock button the side mirrors automatically fold in and upon unlocking the side mirrors automatically fold out again also if you press and hold on the unlock button you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously and to roll them back up together just press and hold on the lock button Very convenient in this hot weather. Also, the facelifted 120i in Malaysia does come standard with BMW's Comfort Access, which is basically BMW's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area. Long press the ribbed area to fold the side mirrors in. And to unlock the car, just tap the area behind the door handles. Comfort Access not only brings keyless entry to the 120i, it also brings keyless start. So to start it, make sure the key form is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake. And press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. The F20 One Series does have an electric rack and pinion power steering system. As part of the M Sport variant, the 120i in Malaysia does get an M Sport specific leather wrap steering wheel with the M badging at the 6 o'clock position and thick sport grips at the 10 and 2 o'clock positions. The only transmission available with the 120i M Sport in Malaysia is a ZF 8-speed automatic routed to BMW's electronic gear lever. To shift into drive, make sure your foot is on the brake, press the unlock button on the right of the gear lever and pull the gear lever all the way back. While in drive, shifting the lever over to the left activates sport mode and Steptronic manual shifting is activated by tipping the lever forward to downshift and tipping it back to upshift. For reverse, go back into drive, hit the unlock button again, and push the gear lever all the way forward. Shifting into reverse dips the passenger side side mirror down to curb view, and it also activates the standard front and rear parking sensors and its diagram that appears on the 8.8 inch iDrive display. For neutral, pull the lever back once if in reverse, and push it forward once if in drive. For park, hit the P button on top of the lever. The parking sensors and its diagram can be turned on or off manually via a button to the right of the center console. Right above the parking sensors button is a row of three buttons, where the first button from the top if pressed once, activates the vehicle's traction control system, and if pressed longer, deactivates the vehicle's stability control system. Buttons number 2 and 3 is the switch for the driving experience control driving modes. Four modes are on offer. 
EcoPro gears the car towards better fuel efficiency by altering the air conditioning settings, limiting the throttle response, and optimizing the gear shifts. Comfort is the standard driving mode. Sport and Sport Plus is the same, with the only difference being the latter has the vehicle's driving aids turned off by default. In these two modes, the throttle response is sharper and the gear shifts are quicker to enable a sportier drive. In terms of safety, the 120i M Sport gets 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force, distribution and brake assist, cornering brake control, automatic stability control, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, dynamic brake lights, hill start assist, tyre pressure monitoring system, an immobiliser, and isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. Like always, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. To open the bonnet, pull the release lever once to pop it open, and pull the lever a second time to release the catch holding the bonnet to the body of the car. Eighteen inch M double spoke style four six one M light alloy rims finished in ferric grey are standard items on the one two zero I M Sport in Malaysia. These rims are wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza S zero zero one run flat tires that measure two two five forty R eighteen in front and two four five thirty five R eighteen out back. At all four sides are ventilated disc brakes. For the suspension, the front gets McPherson struts while a multi-link setup is present at the rear. Courtesy of the M-Sport variant as well is the M-Sport suspension setup. Since 2004, BMW has produced two generations of its compact C-segment contender, the 1 Series. The first generation was available with four body styles, the E87 5-door hatchback that was on sale between 2004 and 2011, the 2007-2012 E81 3-door hatchback, the E82 coupe, and the E88 convertible. The last two were on sale between 2007 and 2013. The second generation 1 series only has two body styles, as the coupe and convertible models are now known as the 2 series. The 5-door hatchback, also known as F20, was unveiled at the 2011 Frankfurt Motor Show, while the F21 3-door hatchback was introduced in 2012. Both body styles received the facelift for 2015, which includes redesigned front headlights and rear lights, updated front and rear bumpers, new engine choices, and a refreshed interior. The 120i has BMW's N13 B16 1.6-litre dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged in 9.4 engine with twin power turbo technology that combines a twin scroll turbocharger with high precision injection, Valvetronic, and double Venos. This engine produces 174 horsepower between 4800 and 6450 rpm and 250 newton meters of torque between 1500 and 4500 rpm. The century sprint is achieved in 7.2 seconds onto a 222 km per hour top speed. 52 liters of petrol is the amount the fuel tank carries, and the combined fuel consumption for the 120i automatic is 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers. Carbon dioxide emissions is 137 grams per kilometer, and the 120i is rear wheel drive. The second generation 1 series is only available in Malaysia with the F20 5-door hatchback body style. This model first debuted in September 2013 with 5 variants on offer, the locally assembled 116i, 118i Sport line and 118i Urban line and the imported 125i Sport line and 125i M Sport. For the facelift, it debuted in June 2015 with only the 120i M Sport initially available. The 118i Sport line joined the range 5 months later. Both facelifted variants are now locally assembled. 
To find out the facelifted 1 series variants currently on sale in Malaysia, please refer to the description box below this video. Exterior features of the 120IM Sport includes automatic auto leveling full LED headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED front indicators, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, front and rear fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, indicators on the side mirrors, auto dimming side mirrors, black kidney grille slats with chrome surrounds, single chrome exhaust pipe, BMW individual high gloss shadow line window trims, body colored door handles and side mirrors, and the M aerodynamics package. You do have your bottle holder down there together with some storage. You do have a speaker right there. And right here you do have your mirror controls, window controls. All of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. And your window lock. To the right of the headlight switch, you have the lever to adjust the brightness of the interior at night. And right down here, you do have a bit of storage. Right above the bonnet release lever, you have the button to release your rear hatch. And this car does get M door sills for the front. The driver's seat in this 120i M Sport does get full powered adjustments with all of your controls located down here. You do have two person memory as well. The buttons right here control your side bolstering support. This one controls your seat back. This one controls your seat position, seat height, and seat inclination. And you do have manual tie support adjusted via this lever right here. All right. So let's go ahead and see how she revs.
The 120IM Sport in Malaysia does come standard with a dual zone automatic climate control system with all of your controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. You do have your fan speed in the middle, different modes for the passenger side, different modes for the driver's side, recirculation, air conditioning, maximum air conditioning with your driver's side temperature, front and rear defrost, and your automatic mode with your passenger side temperature. Down below, you do have a bit of storage, a couple of cup holders, or um, storage bins if you do have the storage bins um, inserted. And right here you do have a cigarette lighter or a power outlet depending on what you use it for. The 120IM Sport in Malaysia does have BMW's Navigation System Professional Head Unit and the Hi-Fi Loudspeaker System as standard. This system features an 8.8-inch high-definition color display, various media connectivity options, navigation, and 7 speakers producing 205 watts of power. I must say, the stock sound system available for the 1 series does sound quite good. The 8.8 inch display right above is controlled using your set of controls down the center console, which includes your media, radio, menu, telephone and navigation shortcut buttons, your back and option buttons, and this revised iDrive knob that now features a touch interface right on top. You can use the touchpad to input letters or numbers into your navigation, increase or decrease the volume, so on and so forth. The knob, however, still goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right, and clicks down for enter. You also do have your set of controls on the dashboard, your eight shortcut buttons where you can program it to store your favorite contact, your favorite radio station, your favorite navigation address, so on and so forth. You do have your seat track buttons right here, eject button for the CD player which is located right here. The CD player is MP3 compatible. This knob is for your volume and power. You can select your different modes right here and select between FM and AM right here. Back to the display. Let's start with the menu that's right on top and that is multimedia. Click the knob down to select that particular option. And right here, we are brought to your sub menu for the multimedia menu where you can access your CD, DVD menus, music collection, external devices, and sound. Under sound, you can adjust your bass treble, balance, and fader, your volume settings, or reset the sound settings to back to factory settings. Music collection basically means you can store your own music on the car's hard drive so you don't have to bring your pen drive or music player around all the time. Under external devices, you can access your Bluetooth audio streaming menu, auxiliary, USB, so on and so forth. You can even um, set your wireless devices right here under connections. And right here we are at your main Bluetooth audio streaming menu with your current song playing information. To the right, on top you do have your artists. In the middle, you do have your album, your song number, your song title, and down below, you do have your song duration. To the left, the highlighted areas, you can go back a song, go forward a song, look at more media options such as audio books and podcasts, look at your playlists, search for music, or look at your currently playing playlist. Now to go back to the main menu, you can either push the knob to the left three times or
you can hit the menu button straight away. Next up, we do have your radio menu where you can access your FM AM menus, look at your list of available radio stations in the area, so on and so forth. Under telephone, you can look at your phone book, redial your last number, look at your received calls, dial a number, um, connect your Bluetooth devices, and all that. Next up, we do have navigation. And right here, you can input your destination, look at your recent destinations, points of interest, look at your address book, saved trips, enter your GPS coordinates and all that, and you can even view the map. Right now, if you do have the bottom left menu highlighted, using the knob allows you to zoom in and out. Clicking the knob down brings up a list of options where you can test your spoken instructions, stop guidance, enter your interactive map, and turn off your status information. Under interactive map, normally in older iDrive systems, you use the knob to go up, down, left or right. But with the new iDrive touch interface, you can use the touchpad to go to whatever direction you want to go to. To exit the interactive map, just click the knob down. You, apart from exiting the map, you can also change your map view, display current location, show destination, start guidance to that particular area, points of interest in the vicinity and all that. Pushing the knob to the left, you are brought to a list of map options with your guidance, spoken instructions, routes, points of interest, interactive map, and your different map views. North oriented, direction of travel, perspective, and your route overview. Next up, we do have office where you can store contacts and notes. BMW connected drive with your mobile CAN number, hotline number, service center number, and BMW apps with your connection assistant and all that. Vehicle information. Right on top, you do have your efficient dynamics information, driving style analysis, eco pro tips, and all that. This menu is only available when you put the car into eco pro mode. Now, what's unique about this system and most other new BMWs nowadays, you do have the option of your onboard owner's handbook on the iDrive display itself. So you don't actually have to refer to the actual owner's um, handbook in the form of an actual book to search for a particular um, item regarding the car. On the system itself, you can search via three ways, quick reference, picture search and owner's handbook. Quick reference is via the most used parts of the car, opening and closing, adjusting your mirrors and whatnot, displays, driving and all that. Picture search via the different parts of the car. And your full owner's handbook where you can um, type out the particular search item you want to search for. For example, lights. L. G H T And if you spell out light, if you click the knob down, you have brought up a list of um, search options starting with light. You also do have your onboard computer right here with your range, distance to destination, estimated time of arrival, average fuel consumption and average speed. The distance to destination and estimated time of arrival will only um, show up on the display right there if you do have the navigation system activated. Your trip computer with your start time, journey time, distance traveled, average consumption and average speed. Vehicle status, your um, tire pressure monitoring system, engine oil level, service indicators, 
check control which basically tells you whether there is anything wrong with the car your sport displays tells you how much power and torque you're using and that's about it Lastly, we do have settings where you can set your instrument cluster display settings, control display, time and date, language units, touchpad settings, connection settings, sound, lights and all that. You can even perform a software update right here. And that's about it for the system. Now, if we go back to the Bluetooth audio streaming menu, if you push the knob to the right, you can actually bring up a list of options where you can activate split screen so you can have your media information to one side, your position information to the other or your navigation information to one side and your um, audio information to the other side and whatnot. As shown right here, you can select your split screen content You can switch off the control display right here as well. And you can show up your external devices on the owner's handbook. Select um, your multimedia options, turning on Bluetooth or turning on your shuffle for the tracks and whatnot. If you are in your radio menu, it will show up the radio on the owner's handbook and your radio options. If you are in navigation, it will show up your navigation um, uh, options and whatnot and that's about it right below the hazard light switch you do have your central locking button as shown earlier this car does have power folding mirrors On the steering wheel, the right spoke houses your volume controls, your different mode selection, your seek track wheel, your voice control, and your unhook off a button for the Bluetooth telephone system. Help! To hear the voice commands in the table display, say voice commands. To obtain general information on voice inputs, say help with voice input. To hear important short... To cancel, just hit the button once more or just um, say cancel. On the left spoke, you do have your cruise control. On the right stalk, you do have your wiper controls. If you locate the button at the end of the wiper stalk, you can activate your automatic wipers. On the left stalk, you do have your indicator controls. And if you locate the button at the end of the indicator stall, you can go through your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, you do have your range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, average speed, your date, turning the display off, and back to your range. Right above, you do have your outside temperature, and down below, you do have your mileage and trip meter. To the right, you do have your time. Right above the start stop engine button, you do have the button to activate or deactivate your auto start stop system. If you do have the system activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it via this lever right here. Adjustable center armrest With storage down below, you also do have your USB and auxiliary ports right in here
auto dimming, rear view mirror, and you do have your interior lights right above. They are LED powered. You do get a sun visor for the driver's side with a vanity mirror and a couple of LED lights. And you do get a grip handle for the driver's side. Alright. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. You do have a storage area down there, together with your window control right there. BMW door sills for the back. And the rear seats in the Malaysian 1 series do fold down. They split 60-40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate the levers on either sides of the headrests, pull it. And then flip the seat back down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is actually not a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. However, I do get about this much leg room and about this much head room. It is not the most spacious back here, but it is not the most cramped either. The cutouts on the front seat backs do help with a bit of leg room and you do get storage pockets on the front seat backs as well. Rear aircon vents and a power outlet down below. No rear centre armrest for this one. But you do get grip handles on the ceiling with hooks for both sides. Your rear lights right above. LED powered as well. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself, locate the BMW badge, push it in, and then lift the rear hatch up.
Open up the rear hatch and you can find 360 liters of boot space with the rear seat backs upright. Fold the rear seat backs down and remove the cargo cover to extend the boot space to 1200 liters. To the right of the boot, you can find a storage pocket, a power outlet, and a light that illuminates the area. To the left of the boot, you can find the vehicle's warning triangle and first aid kit hidden behind a cover, and on both sides, you can find hooks to hang items on. Underneath the boot floor is the vehicle's battery and a bit of storage. You do get adjustable headrests front and rear. You do get your storage holes down there with your bottle holder, your speaker right there, and your window control right there. The front passenger seat in this car does get full powered adjustments as well. With the same set of adjustments as the driver's side, it just loses out on the memory seating. Nicely sized glove box for this kind of car. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger also does get a sun visor with a vanity mirror and a couple of LED lights as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed.
Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2015 BMW 120i M Sport. Thanks for watching and goodbye.